Now we turn to the powerful rocket fired by the hidden and hostile nation of North Korea, a rocket big enough and with enough range to reach the west coast of the United States. Today, ABC's Martha Raddatz studied what this means for the U.S. and what we know about the enigmatic man who is celebrating tonight. North Korean newscasters announced the successful launch with ecstasy. So thrilled was this country by the rocket launch, fireworks ripped through the sky. Exactly what North Korea's new 20-something leader, Kim Jong-un, needed to prove he is every bit his late father's provocative son. The message to the world is, don't mess with me. You know, I not only have the... Um, the, the weapons, I have the delivery capability now. There is no question this long-range rocket is a big technological leap oh. and especially frightening given the country is believed to have nuclear weapons. The concern obviously is that this is really another step that would allow them to turn this into an ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile, that could be carry a nuclear weapon any place in the world. But the hard part is the guidance system and making a nuclear weapon small enough to fit atop those missiles. That means years of complicated work before Americans would be in harm's way. Yet little is known about the intentions of Kim Jong-un. As a young man, he reportedly loved watching America's Michael Jordan. Since in power, we've seen him on horseback and at an amusement park with his wife, as well as presiding over massive military parades. But Kim's youth may be the real key to working with him. He is of another generation, and with social media, there's no question that he is aware of changes in the world and perhaps vulnerability for him and his regime. But the fact that North Korea had a successful launch does put Kim in a stronger bargaining position, Diane. All right, Martha Raddatz reporting in. Thanks so much, Martha.